this theory about Stalin controlling every, everything uh, was around for years, but nobody actually um, looked to see what Stalin actually did, right? And I understand you investigated that. Yes, there's a very famous book uh, called Kremlovsky Censor or the Kremlin Censor, which argues that Stalin was intimately involved with Soviet film production. In particular, the claim there is made that Stalin read many screenplays that yeah. Soviet films were made based on. And, but nobody actually ever counted how many screenplays Stalin read. I have gone to the archives yeah. and tried to trace how many, and they're all listed. They're sitting there in the archive in Moscow, and they're about 10, <laughs> maybe 15. Yeah. And the Soviet Union at the time, this period 1930 to 1953, produced 600 films. So yeah. first of all, the percentage of films that Stalin was intimately involved Yeah, I'm in, calculating 6%. Very, very low, <laughs> very, very low. Yeah. And moreover, um, what he said about these films is extremely limited. So my favorite story from my archival research is when I went to this archive, which is hard to get to, is an archive of political, social political history, and I got to the Stalin, you know, yeah. papers, yeah. and I got these screenplays, and I'm sitting over them, and the screenplay I'm looking at says, the, there are three notes by Stalin in red pencil, which he was famous for. And one says, good. <laughs> look at pages 15 and 67. And you look at pages 16 and 77. What he did is he crossed out the word Koba, which was his political pseudonym, oh. which was too, too informal, and said Stalin instead. Okay. That's the amount of corrections and censorship yeah that he did, and many screenplays, every single screenplay that I looked at had this kind of marginalia, very limited yeah. uh, involvement. 